friends, today we have a very special caller breaking important news right here, because where else? Mayor Osborne, thanks for calling in. No, thank you, Jonah. When you were publishing the Bugle, you were always fair to me. Tough, sure, but fair. Well, that's my job, Mr. Mayor. All I have is my integrity, and I won't compromise it for anyone. Now, what's this crucial breaking news you're revealing for the first time anywhere on my show? Well, after the brutal, cowardly city hall bombing that almost claimed my life, it's clear our understaffed police department needs help. And I want to reassure the people of New York that I am providing it. Aha! I said it! You all heard me say we needed this. Are you using my idea of bringing in cops from Lake Placid? Ah, no. Though that was a fine idea. No, this would be a security contractor, much like the ones our military uses to assist our troops overseas. I can't name it until the contracts are signed, but their qualifications are impeccable. Well, that sounds terrific, Mr. Mayor. Though, of course, I'll have to reserve my tough but fair final judgment until I have all the facts. I'd expect nothing less. And let me stress, this is in no way replacing our brave officers of the law, just augmenting them in a way that cuts through the red tape and gets results. And results are what we want. You know, I'm glad you're here, so I can share my theory on how Spider-Man may well be working with the demons. And a fascinating theory it is, I'm sure. But my doctors are advising me to get some rest now, so if you don't mind... Oh, of course. Thank you for calling in, Mr. Mayor. My lines are open for you anytime. Jared, did you hear? Tough, but fair! That's our new slogan. I don't care who else is using it! Don't care! MJ's hunch was right. The place is crawling with demons. Gotta take these guys out, then have a look around. Okay, that's all of them. Huh. High security lock. They use these on banks, not recycling centers. Maybe if I can find where it gets its power from. Yeah. Looks like I could override the circuit. Need my electric webs. Well, that did something. It looks like the circuits need a little more juice. There. Looks like the circuit's still stable. Maybe there's another junction box close by. Gotcha. Almost there. One more box should do it.
man. These must be where they're planning to attack. Wait. These are Osborne campaign offices. All the paths originate from the same address. Lots of high-tech equipment. Maybe later I can recycle this stuff into some weapons of my own. Guns from Fisk's armory. Truck bombs? This is crazy! Explosives from Fisk's construction site. This wasn't a gang war. The demons were stealing from Fisk to go after Mayor Osborne. Hey, did you find Lee? No, but you were right. Lee's using this place as a front for the demons. Bomb making, gun running. Oh my god. And it looks like they're planning another attack. This time on Norman Osborne's campaign offices. We must have some kind of beef with Norman Osborne. I found an address here. I think it's their staging area. If I hurry, I might be able to stop them. Be careful. Yuri, it's me. Make it quick. I'm busy getting yelled at by my boss. Martin Lee and the demons are planning another attack, this time on Norman Osborne's campaign offices. Are you sure? We've had a lot of false leads in the past week. Trust me on this one. I'm sending you the address of a recycling center. You'll find all the evidence there. Got it. I'll get those campaign offices evacuated. But if you're wrong about this, you're gonna help me find a new job. Consolidated shipping. A lot of guys. I should try to do this quietly, but also with style.
He's not out here. Better check inside. Good thing I stopped this when I did. You could blow up half of Manhattan with this stockpile. Voice from an auto shop. Pale horse rides. That's one expensive tune up. What else can I find around here? They have bases all around the city. This is bigger than I thought. Looks like the demons have an army. As if one deadly glowing whip wasn't enough. I was expecting, but it was definitely not this. Hey, MJ, I think I stopped the demon's attack on Osborne's campaign offices. Nice. Did you find me? No, but I found something we should look into. A place called Pale Horse Ride. This sounds familiar. I'll check it out and get back to you. Getting around. This is new. No, no, no. This one's mine. All right. I'm executing this son of a... Hey! That's not how we do things! Down! Down! Code SM-1. Whoa, whoa! Before we do this, who the hell are you guys? Code SM-1. Code SM-1. Holding for orders. Copy Code SM-1. I have a visual. Hold for Silverbird. Entrance. Solid eight out of ten. Nine out of ten. Release him. He works with us. Yuri, explanation, please. This is Silver Sablanova, head of Sable International. A private security force. Paid for by Mayor Osborne. Oh, the mayor has a pet army now? Next time you get in my way, I will not be so gentle. Go. We'll talk later. I should have told you earlier, but it all happened so fast. It's okay. We're still best buds. We're not best buds. Well, that took a dark turn. Anyway, Sable has the mayor's ear and unchecked authority. We searched that address you gave me, found plenty of evidence of a bomb plot, but nothing that leads back to Martin Lee. 
I'm working on that. Hey, MJ. Hey, so I dredged up some records on Martin Lee's other business holdings. He's got places all over the city. Huh. The locations line up with a map I found at that shipping business. I'll check them out. Let me know what you find at each one, and I'll work on building a case. You got it. I'm headed to Lee's office at Feast to see if I can learn more about why he's doing this. And what he's got planned next. Okay. Say hi to May for me. Wait, you don't think she's in danger, do you? No. Lee's only got one target on his mind. Norman Osborne. One of Howard's pigeons! Come on! He's a fast one! Missed another call from Doc. Peter, I wanted to make sure you're still available. I can't pay you yet, but I've pulled enough strings to keep the wolves from the door a bit longer. If we can get up and running, I know this new version of the project will attract investment. Massive investment. Stay ready. Fingers triple cross, Doc. And I'll help the guys who didn't walk City Hall. Hey, I'm not with those guys, but I'm still gonna kick your butt. We're gonna overwhelm those sable agents. Next time, let off handle it. Sorry, guys. Kinda gotta see something, do something code. Teams, this is Control. What's our status in Nolita? Control. Demons are attacking Checkpoint Zulu. <laughs> Way too many bullets flying over there. Saving our butts, Spidey. You're welcome, scary fascist soldier.
under duress from men in mass. Officers near Bowery, please respond. Demons robbing an armored car. You can bet that money isn't going to someone's quinceanera. <laughs> much cash. Demons are turning the city into a war zone. Not on my watch. Okay, the people in the top floor apartments are really annoyed with you right now. Oh, the look of appreciation on the Sable guys is all the reward I need. Or is that constipation? Hey, what's up? What do you know about Sable International? Let me see. They're an international security firm usually hired by governments to end revolutions, or start them. The last thing we need is a city full of trigger-happy mercenaries. Whoa, social media is blowing up. They're setting up checkpoints around the city, doing random stop and frisks. This is crazy. No, this is Norman Osborne feeling threatened. Peter. So if you're running this place while Mr. Lee's out of town, who's doing your old job? Uh, me. But I could always use more help. You know anyone? Actually, I do. His name is Miles Morales. Why does that sound familiar? His father was being honored at City Hall. Oh. I talked to him at the funeral. He's a smart kid. He's just having a tough time. I knew a boy like that once. I remember it helped to, uh, stay busy. It might help him, too. Here's his mom's number. Thanks. I'll give her a call. Hey, you haven't heard from Mr. Lee, have you? No. Why? I'm just curious. I've got a few minutes before work. I'm gonna look around, see if there's anything else I can do to help you out. Oh, you, you don't have to. I know. I want to.
I should check out Lee's office. Need help with those veggies? I learned a long time ago, you're more help staying out of the kitchen than in it. to see you're okay. Hanging in there. Hey, I heard you were at City Hall for the bombing. You okay? Just a little banged up. How are you doing? Not bad. Your aunt's been helping me with my interview skills. I don't know. I'm not sure I'm cut out for the nine to five. I know I've had my share of career hurdles, but you never know until you try. Give it a shot. Grant me some strength. I don't feel safe anymore. People don't realize how many kids are homeless. One in 30. And too many shelters aren't equipped to care for them. Pete, your aunt works too hard. Tell her to take the day off.
I knew a man who panhandled around City Hall. Just the casino. Peter, take it from me. You need to see someone if you start having PTSD symptoms. I'm okay, but I promise I will. Today's gonna be a good day. May kept Uncle Ben's clothes a long time. It's like he was still looking out for her. This office is locked. How do I get in there? Quietly. I don't feel safe in here. Maybe there's a vent somewhere. seen that room before. Whoa, what the... High voltage lines. What needs this much power? There. Understand, but the account number is in Mr. Lee's office, which is inaccessible. I will call you back as soon as I can get that information. No, I don't know when that will be. room I saw from the crawl space. It should be right on the other side of the shrine. Lee's parents. Looks like there's a keyhole in the frame. I thought Lee's parents abandoned him. Why build a shrine to the people who threw you away? This is the ghost story Lee's father read to him. 
about a demon that could only be mastered through balance. Lee did so much for New York. I can't believe he was hiding such darkness inside him. Lee's journal. Bet this fits the lock in the portrait. Hmm. Some kind of puzzle lock. That seems right. I see. Yes! Whoa. What are you hiding, Lee? sure is obsessed with masks. Is it a Jungian thing? Like, he needed to pretend to be someone else to let his darkest feelings out? Pretended to be a demon, until he became one. He's giving his powers to the others. How does Lee imbue these with his power? Bioelectric induction? Compressed phase shift? Maybe. Can feel my power growing, feeding off my anger. Father would say I've lost the path of balance that he could never understand. The only way to fight a monster is to become one. This is the folder MJ found at the auction house. This might help us figure out what Lee's planning next. Phew. It's a burn room, wired to destroy evidence.
Elise had found this. Or May. Don't want to think of what could have happened. Okay, through the floor grate. Get out of here. Hello, Peter. Mr. Lee. I thought you were out of town. Did you find what you were looking for? Martin, you're back. I get that. Thank you. And heading off again shortly, I'm afraid. Just needed a few things from my office. You must have heard about City Hall. Yes. Tragic. Peter was there. He was very lucky. At an Osborne rally. I didn't know you were a fan. Well, what matters is you are both safe. Amen. But the bombers are still out there. Who knows what they've planned next? Oh, I don't think you or May have anything to worry about. As long as you stay away from places you're not supposed to be. Well, I should go. When will you be back? When my work is done. Wait, wait! Watanabe. I finally got your evidence. Head to the Feast Center in Chinatown. What am I going to find? A nice lady named May Parker. And some really weird stuff hidden in Lee's office. But listen, he's got another attack plan. Where? When? Still working on that, but I think he's going to use something called Devil's Breath. Sounds destructive. What is it? A substance created by Oscorp. Probably a bioweapon of some kind. I have a folder full of info on it. I'm holding on to it for now. I'll send copies as soon as I can. Okay, we'll check his office. If the evidence stands up, I'll put out an APB. MJ, hey, just checking in. Peter, hey, can I call you back? I think you'll want to hear this. Wait, why are you whispering? Just in the middle of something. How about we catch up over dinner? My place? Oh, sure. I'll even cook. Cool. Wait. Remember how you told me about Lee's corrupting touch? I think I just saw it in action. How? Some perfectly nice homeless people just jumped me. Thing is, they had glowing eyes. And I remember Yuri telling me something similar about the guard who released Shocker. So Shocker was working for Lee? Uh, it's all connected. There's more. But I guess we'll talk about it at dinner. Yeah. See ya. Dinner? <sighs> what should I cook? There's a pigeon! Don't run! I won't hurt you! Hey, slow down! Oh, hi, Doctor. How are you? Parker! Exciting news! Come by the lab! Uh, like, now? This is my defining moment. Can't wait to show you. 
Cool. Um, I've got dinner plans. Can I come by later? Dinner can wait. You need to do that, Peter. Uh, okay. Be right there. Wonder if this means I have a job again. Guess I can stop by just for a minute. So this station collects overflow data from all the others. Yeah, God forbid we waste Oscorp's server space. Anyway, do me a favor and make sure it's running smoothly or everything these stations do is for nothing. This isn't nearly enough server space. It's close to overloading. That'll trigger a purge and everything Harry has will be lost. I can't let that happen. Wait, ESU has a backup server near here they never use. That can handle the excess data. But I'll need to realign the transmission dishes to make a link from here to there. Fast. The active receiver's easy to find. Just have to get up there. Okay, now to find another link in the array. Got it. Just have to keep doing that. What's taking up all that space on Harry's servers? Looked like DNA sequencing, but that seems beyond the scope of the research stations. Focus, Pete. It won't matter what's on the server if it all gets erased. Getting close. Should be in view of the ESU server now. Got it. Now I can initiate the data transfer if I hurry. Good. Let's see. Hmm. Looks good. Let's see. It's working. Everything stored successfully. Should be fine until I have Norman assign Harry some more server space. And he'll be glad to when he sees what the stations have been doing.
breaking news just in. My sources tell me the police are now looking at the demons as the primary suspects in the city hall bombing. If that is in fact the case, I retract what I said about Spider-Man not being blamed. Would be, at the very least, partially responsible. Because the reckless manner in which Wilson Fisk was brought down directly created the void the demons poured into like the poison they are. Actions have consequences, my friends. And that's something Spider-Man has never understood. Sweat, Howard. These birds are lucky to have you. I try. Sandra was always better with them. They're her birds, really. Well, now that she's gone, they're yours. Feels like a part of her lives on that way, you know? I definitely know. You're a good man, Howard. Anytime you want to stop by and see the family, <laughs> feel free. Dad says he misses you. Thanks again, Spider-Man. Just keep him busy, but I'm catching up. Let's see where she hit this time. Meow. Cornelius Van Lunt's place. She's hitting places full of one-of-a-kind valuables. She must be working for someone. Otherwise, why not just steal cash? Demons for good.
have been identified driving a box truck. Officers needed on scene in Clinton. Gotta neutralize it. Reinforcements. I'll give them this. The demons are good at recruiting. Just like that movie, with the bomb on the bus. What was it called? Fastness, super quick. Nah, that wasn't it. Could you, like, do something? Triple J, I used to think you were exaggerating the danger to the city, but after the city hall bombing, I gotta admit, you were right. A lot of people have been telling me that, congratulating me, but I don't want congratulations. I would have loved to have been wrong, or better yet, for those in a position of power to have listened to me and done something. But they didn't, and I'm not sure they'll listen now. Unless concerned citizens like you and I make ourselves impossible to ignore. Stand up! Take your city back! That's the only way we can ever be sure that justice will be done. That and listening to me every day! Hey, Doctor. Hello, Peter. I'll be just a minute. Wow. Look at all this new stuff. Where did you get all this equipment? Called in every last favor. Took out a few loans. It's like we're starting over once again. But this time's going to be different. You've been busy. Just getting started. You know, 
Until now, we've been looking at prosthetics from the wrong perspective. Why restore people to what they were when we can... them better. Okay, I think that should do it. You ready? Everything okay? Damn it! This is all your fault, Norman, you son of a... Well, I know who you're not voting for in the next election. Sorry. I, uh, have a habit of making bad jokes in tense situations. <laughs> uh, it was a good joke, Parker. Just a bit of an overreaction on my part. No, don't worry. Uh, why don't you take a break? I'll, uh, I'll clean this up and uh, get us ready for another test. So, uh, hope you don't mind me asking, but it seems you and Norman have a bit of a history. We were lab partners in college. Became friends. Decided to start a business. We both had visions of changing the world just in different ways. Wait, you were at Oscorp when it started? I'm half the reason it's called Oscorp. In grad school, everyone called us the O's. <sighs> Add Corp to that and, well, it is a catchy name. Well, why'd you leave? Norman became more and more obsessed with genetics. He started a project I considered unethical. And there was this... Anyway, lawyers got involved. I chose to leave in exchange for a settlement. But that money didn't last very long. I've relied on grants ever since. If this project doesn't work... Don't worry. It'll work. Uh, let, me, let me just fix this up. I'll brew some fresh coffee. Be sure to run a diagnostic on the control unit. Could be a short. Huh. No good. Gotta reroute this circuit.
Oh, why don't you do the honors this time? I think we did it. Next step, neural interface. That's a lot of work for you to do by yourself. Sure you can handle it? Apparently not, judging by today's debacle. Because I still haven't found another job. My funds are still... I know. It's okay. Don't worry, I'll figure it out. What's a few bucks when you're trying to change the world, right? To changing the world. Call from MJ. Doctor, I need to go, but I'll be back later. Don't worry, the work will still be here when you get back. What's that? Parker, we've been focused on limb replacement, connecting nerves at. Wait, is this the raft? Are you doing work for the Supermax prison? Indeed. They're soliciting bids to modernize their security grid. Figured I'd try my hand. Lucrative contract, and a satisfyingly difficult nut to crack. Doc's working on some kind of advanced hypodermic delivery system. Maybe to help with implant rejection? I don't know, that's a big needle. What is this stuff, Doc? Looks like armored plating. Defense prototypes. Fascinating, really. AIM has requested a number of samples of my work. Who am I to deny them my genius? Ah, kidding, of course. Hmm. Interesting method of structural reinforcement. In some sad, sick way, the City Hall attack may have done some good. Norman's approval ratings are sinking. The people are starting to realize their beloved mayor only cares about himself. Sometimes it takes a tragedy to wake people up to the truth to finally see the monster they themselves elected. Wish Doc wouldn't fixate on Norman like this. Advanced idea mechanics. Doc, are you sure it's a good idea to accept grants from AIM? Their rep is pretty shady. Beggars can't be choosers, Peter. Once we're on our feet, we'll reevaluate our funding partners. We're trying to improve the prosthetics hardware. I should review what Doc's been developing and double check his work. Simple AI that'll improve the prosthetics functionality over time. Welcome to the future.
the prosthetic has a tiny brain. Cool. And a little creepy. Neural interface would be a big step, Doc. Big, yes, but essential. If our prosthesis is anything less than effortless to use, we'll have failed. We'll get there, Peter. We have to.